Hello children, I am your art teacher Sangeeta Sarkar and today we are going to start with a new topic and that's called perspective drawing. Okay, so now let us understand what is meant by perspective drawing. So perspective drawing is where we represent a three dimensional image on a two dimensional surface like paper, blackboard etc. Now for example, look at these pictures. Here you can see the road is becoming narrow and here again you can see in this picture the trees are becoming shorter. Now here you can see the size of the flower is smaller for the far away flowers. Now in this picture you can see again the road width is becoming shorter and the size of the trees are also becoming smaller. So when we represent all these on a paper, so that becomes a perspective drawing. So then let's start with the perspective drawing. So for the perspective drawing, let's start with a diagonal line on this paper and one more like this. Now let's draw one line passing through this point. This should be a horizontal line. Okay. Now will draw a road let's say this is a road and we'll draw a divider line on the road so we'll start from here like this and one more line like this now We'll draw a line like this. We'll leave some line here. Leave some space here and draw one more line. Leave some space here again. Now the space will become smaller. Like this. Then we have to erase these. Now this is the line and this is the road. So these are the actual lines. Now we can just make it little more darker. So we are done with the divider line. Now, let's draw some trees. So, we'll start with a big tree which is nearer to us. Let's draw a simple tree. Which is starting from here. And let's draw the branches and leaves this way now we can draw one more tree make sure the trees are vertical slowly slowly as you can as you've seen on those in those pictures the tree size becomes smaller and also the width of these tree trunk will also become smaller okay. 
one more I'll draw a very small one now the same way we can make some more trees on this side also if we can follow this line it's easy for us to understand how big the trees would be yes so we have drawn the trees in perspective that is far these are all far away trees and this is these trees are nearer to us now let's add some lamp post so we'll start with a lamp post nearer to us so again we'll draw one vertical line and slightly curved line and one more vertical line and here we can make something here now here we can make the lamp now let's draw one more lamp on this side also of similar size this is the first lamp post on both sides now let's draw one more here now we'll draw this till here and the width of the lamp post will also be less now gradually it will become smaller now let's draw one more here on this side also you can see the width of the lamp post is becoming smaller now we can draw one more which will look like just a line here that's it now we can add a mountain far away just to complete the painting and here we can just show something maybe some bushes then here also some more bushes the size of the bush will also become again smaller then while coloring we can fill accordingly so we are done with the drawing in our next class we'll be doing the coloring